I think that not only our programs, but arts in general, the art, the value of the arts experience and how it allows the human spirit to unravel itself and explore itself without any confines or restrictions or limits is invaluable. Welcome everybody, come on in. We are at the studio location of Instituto Mazatlán Bellas Artes, IMBA. IMBA started out as a way to just to get a, to get a couple of neighborhood kids off the street. My niece used to be dancing in a Mexican folklore and then my daughter started, my son, and then I decided to start, well, they made me do it. They asked me, why don't you start your own? I needed thought about that it was gonna be for the last 23 years. Word of mouth started spreading. And then next, you know, we have little kids as well as big kids. I can honestly say that the plan wasn't to create a center. Currently, the programs here at IMBA include academy programs in Folklorico, which is Mexican folk dance, classical ballet, African drum, and African dance. Music programs, which include both instrument and voice. And we provide classes for participants ages of five years old to adults, uh, beginning all the way up to advanced. We have a performing company program, which is the performing company Ballet Folklorico de Sacramento. Why, do, why are you interested in performing? Practicing, working really hard for a few months, and we feel like it's important to perform to not only have this for us, but like show it to other people as part of the culture. I'm very fortunate in that we've had the opportunity to perform in China in 1998 in the Beijing International Folk Arts Festival. Ballet Folklorico de Sacramento consistently performs at, at venues throughout Northern California, namely uh, the Wells Fargo Performing Arts Center, the Gallup Performing Arts Center, and the Harris Center here locally in Folsom. I've had the opportunity in the years since I've been here to see students go from beginners to performing in the company. The wonderful part about IMBA is that not only do we provide a performing arts experience for the participant, but because of the cultural aspect of our programs, we're able to open up the cultural arts experience to the community. I mean, it's incredible. The costumes and everything is part of sharing that experience. It's hard not to walk out our front door and not see the need for arts experiences here in our location. We are located in Oak Park, which is a community in South Sacramento, where 91% of the youth are classified socially and economically disadvantaged. And what does that mean? That means that they neither have the access to performing arts experiences, and if they did have the access, they couldn't afford the performing arts experience. I mean, we spend so much time and energy dealing with the problems of underserved communities, as opposed to just throwing a little bit of that money into providing them an opportunity to express themselves. I would like everybody to think about this. If you didn't have an opportunity to express yourself, what would you do? The power of self-expression in the human spirit has so much strength that it can change the life of a whole community. I've had the opportunity to see kids walk in here with low self-esteem and through the consistent application of the performing arts programs that we have here, learn to develop a sense of self. And it's hard to really express what seeing that is like. I think that we are so lucky. And I, I can attribute that luck to our executive director and her vision for goal. She has a very clear demand for excellence. And so she's gone out of her way to bring in quality instructors with experiences that can guide our students forward with the strongest possibility of, of success.